Hello, today I'll be showing you how to reduce your ping or delay uh, in BSW as well like as lags in general. Um, to figure out your lagging, of course, the most obvious way is to just play the game and feel like you're lagging. Uh, there are more concrete ways to check that. The first way is to check your ping. You can see that the ping is really high. I'm living in Europe, so and it's spiking from like 200 to 300. So that is not normal. Um, one other way, I'll be closing the game for now since I don't need it for now, is to check your ping by directly pinging it. Pinging it. So um, we'll go to this website that I'll leave in the description, launcher.burningsw.com slash info.json. It will give you important information about the server, most importantly, the server IP address. So what we're going to do is copy this IP address and then do ping and then paste the server IP address and it can tell us that we're lagging. As you can see, the ping is going between 210 and 242 milliseconds with like spikes of 30 milliseconds, which is really bad for playing in general. So those are the three ways you can tell your ping or you can tell you're lagging. Um, one thing I'll be taking from here is the IP address that I'll be using later. So I'll be copying this one here. This can change. So if you do that later, the server IP address might have, might have changed. So now you need a VPN that's good for games. You can try exit lag, but in my case, I'll be using Mudfish because it's a much cheaper alternative. It costs like uh, $3 for 24 gigabytes. And if you set it up cor correctly uh, in the way I show you, it shouldn't take much bandwidth because we're going to only link the traffic of the game and the game doesn't take that much. For like one hour, you can expect anywhere between 30 megabytes and like 70 megabytes, depending on what you're doing. If you're AFK, it's not going to spend a lot of bandwidth, but if you're actively playing, it's going to spend a lot more. But generally speaking, the maximum for one hour is like 70 megabytes. As you can see, my last payment is like in 2019 and it's still going strong. This is my first $3 and I still have like 73 cents, which corresponds to about seven gigabytes. Enough talking. So the next step is we'll be enabling expert mode um, and I'll be explaining in a bit why. So to enable expert mode, we open this icon and then go to edit profile. On your profile page, you'll turn on expert mode, press modify and you're good to go. Now, uh, expert mode allows us to add custom items. The reason why we're using custom items is because the soul worker item that's being used has two problems. The first problem is that it doesn't work the second reason is that they do not know where the server is. They added the, 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 the server for BSW when it was back in Germany, but as of recording the video, the server now is located in the Netherlands. So it will also give you wrong ping information. So we'll be adding the custom item by pressing on manage items and then pressing the plus sign, create custom item. Uh, the category, you can choose whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'll call it game. It's for the name, it's the same thing. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't affect anything. I'll just call it BSW. You can choose an icon for it, but it's not really necessary. It doesn't change anything. And this is the important part, the routing path. So for the routing path, we're going to do P colon burning SW.exe. So this will take, this will capture the traffic of the process itself, which is the game itself. And we're going to add another one, which allows you to ping in CMD, which is the server IP address, the domain name, newgame.burningsw.com. And then we're going to add the server location. So for the location, this is also a name. You can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it BSW server Netherlands, because that's where the server is. And then I'll paste the address that I got from pinging on the command prompt. So this address. And then I can test. It will give me that I'm, my ping is 234 milliseconds. This is, of course, not my ping with VPN. This is my ping in general. And now comes the fun part. So now we have this set up. We can go to basic mode. Basic mode is the simplest. Uh, I'll be showing other modes, but for now we'll go with basic mode. I'll press on the search button. And then I'll tell it to search for BSW, BSW server. And now what this is going to do, it's going to calculate the ping from like my PC to all the nodes of Mudfish to BSW. And it's going to give me a score. The lower the score, the better. As you can see, for some reason here, they're sorted in descending order. You want to sort them in ascending order. 
and when I sort them in ascending order, it gives me that DE Europe Germany Volter 2 is the best one. I can press on display icon here, which will change the node automatically here. And now all I have to do is press connect. Uh, it might take some time. After having connected, now what I can do is actually ping the server again to see whether my ping improved or not. So I'll, I'll re-execute the command and as you can see, the delay, I don't know why, but, but for the first message it always shows like a high delay. But if I send it again, as you can see, 29 millisecond, 30 millisecond, not 29 millisecond, 30 millisecond. I'll execute one more, one more for good measure. And as you can see, uh, I've been, uh, the, the, it dropped down from 200 something to... Um, to 30 milliseconds and as you can see my ping has dropped from hundreds to anywhere between 40 and uh, 70 80 which is much better um, so yeah uh, I'll be showing you now other ways to set up your VPN that might be better for you depending on your connection so for now I'll stop the VPN since I don't need it anymore so uh, the first thing you want to look at is the fast connect mode. You may want to try with and without it and see if it's better for you or not. Uh, I think for me, because I'm in, I'm in Europe, it doesn't change much. I don't know if it changes at all, but depending on your connection, it might be better or worse for you. Another way to set up your connection is to look at the, to look at the routing information that gets updated like every few hours, every day. I don't know how, how, how often, but you can ask for updating it. The way you do it for your item, you press on the settings icon here. And as you can see here, last RTT update in 32 seconds and calculated 30 seconds ago. You can press here refresh to calculate if you see that it's, it has been refreshed a long time ago. And as you can see, it would give me all the routing paths with the, the round trip time average and the round trip time standard deviation, which means like how much the ping is varying. As, as you can see, we're on 30 milliseconds, but we're varying three milliseconds here and there. So as you can see, um, this was the default node that it chose for me. It kind of makes sense because like I'm close enough that the RTT will give me the same thing. Um, if you're living far enough from Europe, you may want to choose the advanced mode or the two node mode. This allows you to connect to two nodes, then to the server. So your PC, one Mudfish node, another Mudfish mode node, and then your P and then the server. In some cases, this is better, especially if you live in Asia. So you may, may want to try this one. So what I'm going to do is actually copy those. Uh, so I remember which one they which ones they are. So after having copied them, I'll go to save. Doesn't really matter. And then I'll choose those nodes. So it was Paris G Core Labs. I go to advanced mode. I go to FR Paris G Core Labs for the first node. For the second node, it was NL Europe Amsterdam Volter 1. So I go to NL Europe Amsterdam Volter 1 and then I press connect. This is now, as I said, this is gonna uh, capture or like um, redirect the traffic from my PC to Europe to Amsterdam to the server. So if I ping again now, my ping is about 42, 56, 48. Uh, the reason this is happening is because I am close enough to the server that adding more servers on the way is not worth it for me because I'm in Europe. But if you live in Asia, maybe like west coast of the US, it might be better for you. So it's worth trying. And yeah, that's it. Last thing to consider is the fact that not all Mudfish nodes or not all routing paths are the same. Some of them might give you better results than the others, even though Mudfish is telling you this one is better. So you can go to the calculation here. What you can try, for example, is to recalculate the RTT and then look at the routing paths. Try all of the routing paths until you find one that works for you. There's also the other way of looking at the basic mode and then calculating the ping might want to try for example um, trying those no those results for example like if you know that uh, the problem with your connection is mostly because of 
your connection you know that your connection is slow and your isp is bad you might want to try the user node only mode if you know that the server is lagging for everyone else so you might want to try the node destination server only but in most cases the all-in-one works best and the same thing here you have multiple servers to choose from um, you can try a lot of them for example for me i can keep trying until like like a lot of these i guess but yeah and if you're patient enough you can also look at the rtt graphs look at which one is more stable than the other so i can see for example that de germany volter is a lot stable for example and then i can look at the values specifically like uh, the more patient you are with the process the better results you, you'll have but at some point it's also like too much i guess to handle so just keep trying until you find something that works for you and hope that uh, this, the, the the problem is resolved um, soon enough hopefully if you've got any questions you can leave them in the comments below i'll try to answer as many of them as possible and if you found this video helpful a like and a subscribe are appreciated and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching